Yo, what is going on guys? Plunge here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be watching top 20 most powerful anime characters of all time. This video is made by Watch Mojo, so make sure you go to their channel. You hit like, you subscribe because they're the ones who made this video. So I know Watch Mojo doesn't really have the most accurate top 10 list out there, but I still want to know what their uh Oh wait, this is top 20. So they don't have the most accurate top 10 or top 20 things out there, but I still want to see their take on who are the most powerful anime characters of all time. If I were to guess, I'm not I don't really watch a lot of anime, but if I were to guess Saitama would be here, Goku should be here. Um Naruto should be at least here. I don't know, maybe he's not. But we'll see from the looks of the like and dislike ratio of this video the like ratio is pretty high so at least we know that this list is somewhat accurate so with that being said let's go watch the top 20 most powerful anime characters of all time this video is brought to you by Funimation. Oh, Stream the newest shows, sub and dub with no ads. Start your free trial oh, at Funimation.com. Funimation. They simply don't come any stronger than these guys. This is Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 most powerful Let's anime characters. Let's see who they are. Of course. Puella, Maggi, Madoka, Maggi. That's a mouthful of, for? of uh, for this anime list, character title. That question, I know who Haru is. is the best of the best I've watched this show. I should probably react to this, actually. Heroes and villains are all welcome, just as long as Jesus. it's clear that with enough effort, they could annihilate a planet or two. What's we'll up with this here? He's like robot, franchise. he's got like robot and antennas. And including Mecha, piloted by another character, such as Tengen Topper, Garen Lagan, or Demon Bane. As always, you can catch me on Twitter at AshJBo, so head over there, give me a follow, and let me know which anime list you want to see next. <laughs> All right, number, number 20, 20 mob. mob mob psycho 100 we kick I don't know this who this guy is the soft spoken hard hitting esper with a heart of gold Saiteda. so he's like a, ma a, ma a magician oh. i guess while he spends most of his time exercising small time ghosts beneath his far less powerful boss like Reagan, a, oh so, mob so has like been a shown like a sorcerer to absolutely leather any rival espers that come his way Is he, is he like a, a Doctor Strange type of character? Strength, as he's capable of shifting entire That's probably what it is, right? Because I know what an e I've heard what an Esper is from Haruhi. Your mob's powers could easily level entire cities with minimal effort. He's like focused on uh, mystical threats or some sort. Whoa! We just formed a Beatrice. city on him. Umineko, when Beatrice. they cry. While more powerful entities end up appearing down the line in the visual novel, this golden witch absolutely dominates in the anime adaptation. <laughs> With the title Holy. of the endless witch, so if you lose a chest, you, you die in real life. I will, I will, I will want to play destroy that. Destroy and repair anything she chooses, which just so happens to be very useful in setting up multiple murder mysteries. So she's like a detective. <laughs> Not only does she have the power to summon powerful servants, such as the Stakes of Purgatory, but she can also command the Shoulder Towers, which fire deadly beams of light. <laughs> Number 18, Fiyama of the Right. A certain, certain magical, magical index. index. Isn't that always the way? Esper that serves the Catholic Church suddenly decides that he should rule above it and God as a whole. He's a bit of a hubristic dick about it, 
but when you're armed with something as monumental as the Holy Rites, you can kind of get away with it. One. There's a Chapter lot of espers in this so far. I'm guessing it, it, it does make sense that it's filled with Able espers. Miracles and crush all because they're like evil. fighting mythical features and magical features. And wipe out whatever heretic is caught in its crosshairs. Everything I've done has been for one reason. And that one reason is me. Can I cancel him out? No. And he briefly attains the highest. What's up with this uh the clothing? The, magic side. the clothing in his shoulder. What's up with that? Dio. I wanna know what that he was is. Able to start World War III. I will save Jesus. the world. Hey, be grateful! Number 17, Eins Ulgone. Overlord. Overlord. Most you know what? Actually, Nisael told me to watch this. Abilities, I'm gonna get into that. I wanna that watch this. To Overlord. Is based around a video game. Okay, I'm Even liking it so far. Pantheon, the undead ruler of Nazarick stands atop them all. Undead thanks ruler. to both an endless series of top tier insta kill spells, an entire kingdom filled with boss monsters to act as his minions, not to mention a devotion to his evil archetype that doesn't put him above subjugation, deceit, and slaughter. Delay magic. Delay magic. True this. True While death. these days he loves nothing more than Jesus. to let his henchmen cut down his foes, he's certainly not above the occasional sacrificing of 70,000 soldiers to summon I Eldritch find that so weird. Goat demons. When, when the, uh, when the, the characters become 3D models in the anime, Number it's 16, just so off. Sakamaki I don't like Izayoi. it. Problem children are coming from another world, aren't they? The no-name community sure are lucky they got the all-star ace of psychic children on their team, because very few can hope to match this hothead in the gift games. <laughs> Primarily, it's his he monumental strength and durability that you've got to watch out for. Or was that a snake? Gods, mountains, other problem kids, few can hope to withstand <clears throat> the force of his fists. <laughs> When he gets going, this vulgar scene becomes an engine of destruction that won't stop until his foes are pummeled beyond recognition. So, best not to insult black rabbits when around him. <laughs> Number 15, Father. Father hey, I've heard of this anime before. While the efforts of Hohenheim and the Elric brothers certainly brought down the ultimate being's power level with their counter-transmutation circle, the father of the homunculi is not one to be underestimated. Is that an eye? Oh. That looks like Black not Zetsu from Naruto. Not only did he Naruto. succeed in swallowing the very concept of God, but was able to raise the dead, disable all alchemy with just a tap of his finger, and for one singular shining moment, created a miniature sun in the palm of his hand. That's, that's bad. You don't want that. Just go watch Dr. Octavius and what Whatever happened. Stage he's at, the former dwarf in the flask is not something your regular state Kind of looks like the main character. Anguish. Number 14, Psyche Kusuo, the disastrous life of Psyche What's up with this hair? Why, the why is there like just wants to live a mundane uh, mechanical life, just so happens to things. be the most powerful psychic to ever exist. Oh, so he's, he's a psychic. Honestly, the sheer amount of abilities Psyche has to his name is just as big as Kaido's daydreams of one day defeating Dark Reunion. Teleportation, telepathy, telekinesis, clairvoyance, invisibility, flight, mind control, petrification, psychometry. He can't control his strength. Time travel, he broke the chopsticks so trying to more. eat. What the fuck? Nair's messed up. All of which is also constantly restrained thanks to his suppression antenna. Oh. We could wipe out the world if he got serious for even a moment, but thankfully okay. he loves putting too much to even entertain such an idea. That makes sense. There's a reason for his mechanical antennas. 
So when he removes it, he becomes powerful, more powerful. Jesus, what the hell is she wearing? Turns out, when compared to the likes of one of these seven beast class servants, Archer and that are pretty much paltry. As one such godlike being, Tiamat That's a big ass titties, man. Humanity, which is a <laughs> bit tragic since she sort of gave birth to the species as a whole. <laughs> Honestly, she's got so much cosmic power that even the concept of death eludes her. To the point, it took a grand servant, a grand candidate, four goddesses, Archer Gill, about eight ass balls, and a bland teenage protagonist to take her down. That's a lot of people just to kill someone, Jesus. Well, it does make sense. She's big. Number 12, no no, no, no. Die Buster. Buster. There are giant mega, and then there's no no. While she's something of an airhead and sweet as pie, the truth is that she's secretly a living buster machine, and one capable of taking on an entire alien fleet, all by her lonesome. Not even moving, she's just standing like this. And then missiles just comes out of her thighs. Traversing across the galaxy. Oh my god. Is she pushing pushing? pushing? Is she pushing a planet? What the fuck? Problem at all. A buster beam wiped out practically everything in its path. This is crazy. Of course, the truest example of her mechanical might comes from how she was able to grasp and move a black hole. Really? That sink in. Really? Ultra Inazuma kick. Is that the black hole? Number 11, Misogi Kumagawa, Medaka box. box. He's a bona fide loser with a perpetual smile that is constantly underestimated. Okay. The truth of the matter is, he's probably the deadliest thing in a school uniform. <laughs> Normally, someone who can summon giant screws would be terrifying enough. But through his ability to slowly remove aspects of reality just for shits and giggles, it's kind of a miracle this guy ever lost a fight. Oh. After all, it doesn't what? matter if you're an what? artist with supernatural paintings. Okay, so just remove color he just removed color from... What the fuck? So is that ten, technically Madoka breaking Kane, the fourth wall? Magica. While the rest of her fellow magical girls might be flashier, none can hope to compare to the sheer scope of Madoka's divine power following her wish. After managing to pull a fast one on Kyube by calling for an end to all witches, Madoka pretty much became a deity. As a result, the universe essentially rewrote itself to accommodate for her transcendence. That, and her newfound habit of saving every magical girl across history by preventing their shift to the dark side. Then even I... don't have a thing to worry about, ever! She wielding like now, a, everywhere, a mystical nowhere, bow? And able to snipe down a planet-sized witch without hell. any effort, you won't find a cuter so she say uh, than her. she say planet planet buster already. Number nine, Giorno Giovanna, Jojo's Jojo. bizarre I've, adventure. I keep Golden hearing Wind. about this, this anime. It keeps has getting me. To become someone of I didn't know this guy was this powerful. A gangster, if you will, so that he can protect the innocents from true evils of the world and control the rampant chaos that crime has divulged into. I, f I still find the animation never or the art style so weird. That and go all the way to being a super being capable of instantly overpowering whatever stand user steps up to him. Oh 
What the fuck? After becoming That's trippy. That's fucking trippy. Gold experience requiem, Jorno <laughs> wasn't only given a major power boost, but his stand demonstrated the innate ability to negate and undo even the time erasing shenanigans of King Crimson. Oh my god. Number eight, Saitama, oh, there we go, Saitama. Whether you're a I'm surprised it's just eight. A pure nightmare fuel, a tyrant that's conquered entire galaxies, or literally just anything else, it just doesn't matter. Want to know why? Because everything falls before the might of Saitama's fist. <laughs> His strength is so absolute, so without limits, that every foe that he swung at has either been reduced to a corpse in a rapid fire manner or knocked into the next year. He's so nonchalant. It's like he doesn't even care. Normal punch. Normal punch. Serious or casual, we'd wager at this point Saitama could punch out God. He's already bested everything else. I'm pretty sure he can. I'm pretty sure he can punch a God. Serious punch. Number seven, Altair. Altair. Recreators. You don't mess with the military uniform princess, especially when she's on the warpath against humanity and created alike for causing her precious creator to commit suicide. Oh. Pretty scary oh, what the when fuck one is so that? full of hatred in their vocaloid hearts has so much power to their name, and we're not just talking about those floating swords of hers. <laughs> Armed with her hollow scion, Altair proved to be a tad on the omnipotent side of things, since she can alter and rearrange a created story, i.e. completely trash their abilities, while also create an entire new universe of her own. Oh my god. Number 6, Anti-Spiral, Anti -spiral. Guren Lagan. With the Guren single Lagan. goal of halting the Spiral Nemesis, this stagnated entity was more than happy to regress and crush all races of the universe. What the fuck? This dude is literally tearing off a piece of space. He also had the means to do so, whether by pulling the members of Team Daiguren into a prison made from their own dreams, or by simply smashing them to pieces with all the force of an exploding star. That This character design looks cool though, I like that. I like that character design. Then there's the fact he can also grow to the size of whole galaxies in order to really bring the pain. He would have likely brought all of space and time to a halt if not for Simon and his shirtless fisticuffs. <laughs> Number five, Haruhi oh, Suzumiya. Oh, here we go. Haruhi. The melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya. What's worse than a narcissistic, annoying high school girl with absolutely no filter? How about she can one do anything she wants. She has the power to drastically alter reality and shape the universe with just a thought. Yeah, yeah she can do whatever she wants. To find aliens, time travelers, and espers, and hang out with them. So you have to be cool with her, or or, this is the whole world has or you're dead. Halt. A being who has caught the attention of time travelers, data mines, and all other crazy characters to descend Aspers to Aspers as well. The only thing to stop Ms. Suzumiya from reducing everything to zero is one cynical git named <laughs> Kion. You lose, you're buying everyone's lunch after the game! I know that. After all, the Poor Kion, the though. world is resting He's dragged into this. I guess the world's not worth very much. She's quite a marvel, in that even though she can make time on itself just to extend her summer vacation, she manages to inspire exasperation as opposed to awe. What? Are you crazy or something? Do you honestly think I'd believe something as convenient as that? Number four, Haruka Kaminogi. Noin, to your Noin. other self. You'd think after the first few times this adorable lass altered reality, the dimensional hopping factions and their dragon knights would take a step back and realize hunting her down is a bad idea. What's, What's happening? That? As the ultimate observer, Haruka is both blessed and cursed 
to rearrange space-time and quantum probability however she sees fit. Which basically means, if she wants to reject someone's existence, then every parallel universe has to bend to her whims and get to re-stitching itself. Please bring oh. Mrs. Goto back to us. That's a lot of power for a single person. Along with the dragon I mean, all of the people in this list, multi-dimensional deterrent, Jesus. she's somewhat untouchable. Send them back. Send them back! Number three, Zeno. Zeno. Dragon Ball Super. Until Goku trains enough to one-up this little jelly bean, the Omni King stands somewhat tall as the Dragon Ball franchise's most powerful entity. Something this nasty should be cleaned up, right? Yes, it should. I'll destroy it. It's not so much that all gods of destruction, angels, and Kai's bow before and there's him still with them, absolute so... fear and humility. It's That's gonna be a so problem. It's more inspiring spectacle of watching this childlike thing casually erase an entire universe with but a wave of his hand. <laughs> God damn. Well, they're, they, they weren't actually erased, so that's good. They were brought back at least. That's setting the bar pretty damn high. While his actual combat prowess is hard to measure, the fact pointing a finger is enough to squash a whole realm is pretty hard to beat. <laughs> Number two, Lord, Lord of Nightmares, Nightmares. Slayers. Overshadowing all demons, humans, and other creatures of the four worlds, I like the this aura entity is both creator and destroyer, forever seeking to return all life to the sea of chaos. I am the Lord of Nightmares. She's the kind of mother you do not want to test your metal against, on account there is nothing out there that can even come close to her power. You who so desperately seek destruction, as you wish, you shall be destroyed. Just like that. Even how just by partially tapping into her essence, Lena was able to unleash such monstrous techniques as the Giga Slave and Ragnar Blade. It's shuddering to think what would happen if she decided it was time to discipline her countless offspring. Ah, Lena! Before we continue, right, be sure to the, subscribe uh, to our channel and ring to the, the bell to get notified um, about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified the for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Kami Tenchi, Tenchi Muyo. While very little is no, known about no this honorable mentions creator for this? that's been reincarnated inside one of the very first harem protagonists, the fact he's regarded as a supreme being that's all-knowing and boundless speaks volumes. That's scary. He's calmed the goddess killer known as Counter Actor with zero effort, infinite wisdom, and maximum suave, and there was that one time he nearly caused the end of all things, simply because the human Tenchi ascended into his god mode earlier than expected. This is something that you will have to solve yourself. But I don't know how. Tell me what to do. Guess all other OP horror masters are just trying to catch up to this guy and his inner divinity. <laughs> This video is brought the to you characters by on this list, Stream man, are insane. Sub and My god. No and. Okay, so I was completely wrong. I got one correct though, which is Saitama's in this list. But I don't really watch a lot of anime, so I think I get a pass on that one. But man, the top 20 or the characters on this top 20 list are insane. That's too much power for one being. So they're basically... Basically all of the people in this are like gods so yeah this was really an interesting video i didn't know like most of the people in this list besides saitama and haruhi so that's 18 people i don't know so yeah i really enjoyed this video hope you guys do as well and if you do please consider hitting like subscribe click the notification bell down there so you can get notifications and until the uploads and of course follow our instagram page to post more posting and stuff there like pictures videos make sure follow is going to be linked in the description down below and again, to the people who are liking, watching, and commenting our videos, thank you guys so much. And thank you for 384 subscribers. We from LOSG really appreciate you guys a lot. And that's it. 
Oh, and by the way, if you guys want to see my uh, Attack and Titan reactions, I'm going to leave a link somewhere up here. I don't know. But yeah, that's it. In case you don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.